Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about clinical criteria for cardiogenic shock. For a patient to be labeled as cardiogenic shock, there should be two criteria should be fulfilled. One is clinical criteria and another is hemodynamic criteria. Clinical criteria says that if any patient have a systolic blood pressure of less than 90 millimeters of mercury, which has been persistent for more than 30 minutes, or if a patient is on inotropes or vasopressor to maintain blood pressure of more than 90. That means either a patient should have a BP of less than 90 or if a patient is on inotropes and then only he is able to maintain BP of more than 90, then patient is labeled as cardiogenic shock. But no, only not only the BP criteria, other than that patient should also have an evidence of end organ hypo, hypoperfusion or a lactate levels of more than 2 millimoles per liter. So end organ hypoperfusion means that patient should have either a altered mental status which is hypoperfusion of the brain, patient should have a delayed capillary refill or the patient periphery may be pale or mottled or limbs may be cool. So if the peripheries are very cool, that also I suppose suggests that patient has an end organ hypoperfusion. Or if there is no perfusion to kidneys, then patient will have little or no urine output. Or if there is no perfusion to the bowel, the patient may have an absent bowel sounds. So for the patient to be labeled as cardiogenic shock, all these criteria should be met. Then only patient can be labeled as cardiogenic shock. Thank you.